Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at the Moza SRP pedals. Now I am a bit of a Moza fan I guess. Um, I have used quite a bit of their equipment over the time. Um, I've purchased a fair bit of stuff from them and they were other than Logitech the G920. Uh, Moza were my first step into direct drive and also semi amateur equipment i guess you could say and moza have really they've kind of given me a bit more confidence in sim racing and in terms of being a driver and in terms of really feeling the road and it's been really great so far to use their equipment but what, what we're doing here this is a non-sponsored review um, i have paid for all of my moza equipment and my whole rig and everything all by myself um, so nothing sponsored, nothing provided here, but you're going to get the, the honest truth. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this review. So this is going to be a straight up review. Um, it's not going to be a stats and specifications and things like that. You can find that in other channels. But this is going to be about my experience with the SRP pedals and uh, what I found by using them for the past two years, I was an early adopter into the Moza um, ecosystem. And yeah, it's been pretty good so far. There hasn't been too many issues considering they're a bit of a newcomer to the space when I jumped in. Yeah, so let's get into it. The Moza SRP pedals. <laughs> These are my Moza SRP pedals. Now, while they may look a little different to the standard uh, Moza SRP pedals. Um, I've done a few modifications to try and beef them up and I'll kind of explain why along the path as we, as we get closer to the end of the video. But um, the things I did like, let's do some pros and cons. The thing I did like about the Moza SRP pedal, I really like the, the smooth accelerator pedal uh, face. Especially if you're wearing socks and stuff like that, like there's no sort of um, grip or any of that type of stuff that's really sort of can get irritating. And even the clutch is a smooth face and a smooth pedal. That's quite good. Um, and solid metal all the way around. And a great heel plate. This thing's comfy. It doesn't have too many silly big holes in it or anything stupid like that. Um, it's comfortable underfoot. And yeah, all... all all in all, the profile's good. Um, they are, they feel heavy duty. They feel relatively heavy for what they are. And um, underfoot, they actually feel quite good and quite sturdy. Um, I think a big step up from the SRP light pedals as well. And if I was in the SRP light pedals, this is what I would go for as the next step um, in your sim racing journey for pedals. Um, so let's... Um, Let's flip them over. They've got some rubber feet on the bottom, which is good here if you're not using them with a rig. Uh, but I, I would highly recommend and I do suggest that you do use a rig or bolt it down to a piece of wood or something because uh, it does have a load cell brake, which is one of the advantages of the SRPs is that they do have a load cell. Whereas the SRP lights uh, do not have a load cell, you can get third party uh, mods to suit a load cell, which could be a good option. Um, but uh, upgrading to these pedals, I think, is the next sort of level because they are a fair bit more sturdy and um, quite strong. So you've got your brake pedal there with the load cell um, and also the elastometer. I hate that word. Elastometer. Um, elastometer. You'll see that that spring in there is actually a red spring, I believe it is. Is it red? Or it might be a brown spring or orange spring. Because what usually comes with this, this set, it comes with this yellow spring over here, which I've used on the accelerator. And I'll explain that in a second. But this yellow spring is quite soft. It's quite soft. And that was usually on the brake pedal. And the brake pedal feel out of the box of these... Uh, it's okay, but it's not ideal. I didn't find it ideal. I found to have proper control over your braking, you need to have a sturdy 
uh, brake pedal. You need to feel confident in the load that you're pushing on there translates into the game. This yellow spring was just too soft for me. Um, it felt like I was just pushing on a sponge and then I would get to some good resistance after that. So we've got the brake pedal set here with the clutch, which is what I purchased. And um, you'll see that what's that? 269 plus 99.95. This is Australian dollars, by the way. So quite a cost effective set of pedals, especially for your first load sales. Um, these could be really good. And if we scroll down, it does say that it's not compatible with the SRP Lite clutch pedal and the SRP Lite brake pedal performance kit. Um, <coughs> so as we just scroll down, you see the SRP accessory kit here. Uh, it's pretty cheap now, like $20. And I would highly recommend this if you do pick up this pedal set because this transforms that brake. It gives you an orange spring, a stronger elastometer and a red uh, spring as well so these are two stiffer strong stronger springs and that's to me that's what transformed these pedals for me is something so small I really think it should come with that from factory but it's good to have some extras too and so that's what I did there I believe I put in the more heavy duty elastometer and also the orange spring, which is a hell of a lot stronger than that yellow one. Um, and then the pedal has some really good feel. I was really happy with that. And to be honest, I became pretty happy with the brake pedal after that. There was no more adjustment needed. It was pretty damn good. And the only thing about the brake pedal, in saying all this, the thing about these pedals and the ones that I have in my hand right now, is that these only come with a 75 kilo uh, load cell. And so I'm not really going to explain the technicalities because I'll probably be wrong. But um, the problem with having a 75 kilo load cell is that when you put 75 kilos worth of pressure on here, this bottoms out and it is the strongest it can can display or read out and then you're hitting max brake force and probably locking up pedals so uh, locking up wheels so the bigger this the bigger this load cell is it's kind of the more refined braking experience is pretty much what i can say um, but if you're just an amateur if you're coming up through the ranks i honestly found 75 kilos fine um and I just learned to break with it and I was fine. I was winning races. There was no sort of issues uh, with it, with the 75 kilo and yeah, it was fine. But now, now these pedals come with, if I scroll down the page here, don't know if you can read that, but it now comes with a hundred kilo load cell, which is awesome. That'd be great. I couldn't see like too many people, unless you're coming up into all the pros, are uh, needing much more than 100 kilos. This is quite good and it's easy to adjust. You can just pop this bottom bit out and chuck another spring in there, chuck another elastometer in there and just pop it back in. It's one of the easiest set of pedals to adjust. And uh, yeah, that's really good for the brake pedal. And you'll see another mod that I did. You'll find that obviously, if you look at the... Uh, the documentation here that you actually get a different brake pedal um a brake pedal itself for the for the face and what i did let me just figure this out i got a mate of mine who lives next door who's got a 3d printer and he literally printed me out i got on thingiverse i think it was thingiverse or one of those free uh 3d printing websites and i found an SRP pedal uh, brake pedal pad, a big, massive monster. And to be honest, this feels really good. Braking with a pedal this this big, it makes you feel a lot more confident in your braking. Um, so I'd recommend it, especially for these pedals. That brake, that pedal face is not very big. So um, to have a big, chunky one like this really feels like you're... you're um, get a bit more accuracy on the brake pedal so i'd recommend that as well um so let's whip around to the back we're still on the pros here um but that could be a con too the cons 
75 kilo brake sail that spring is soft unless you get the upgrade kit so you really need to get the upgrade kit that's probably a bit of a downfall um and the next thing is if i can get that into shot the accelerator pedal this is my main reason for upgrading because i've just recently upgraded and there'll be a, a video coming out shortly on the next level of pedals that i went to um but the accelerator pedal was the biggest thing for me it has the same internal spring as what the clutch pedal does have this spring in here this silver one and it's very soft i can push that down with my thumb and if and that, that was the same on the accelerator so what i found was is that i had a bit of a heavy foot so coming out of corners or whatever i found myself losing traction over overshooting corners over steering corners um few spins but not really having throttle control and while it's okay and you can work with it it's not the end of the world it's a very light accelerator pedal so what i did was i had a look online and i looked for some options and there, there was a few options uh, there was a 3d wrap option which was a little bit expensive i thought for what it is but you could still do the clutch and i believe that's a really good kit as well and it had to come from europe and then i was like I saw another guy who said just get the SRP pedal light brake kit and fit that to the accelerator pedal because it, it literally bolts in and use the brake spring, the original brake spring, in the accelerator with the SRP light. I was like, what? That actually works. And sure enough, it bolts in there and it works. And this really gives the accelerator pedal a really good feel. Um, I don't think I can, I can just push that down. You can see the difference already. Um, that makes a massive difference. So that's a really good upgrade if you are looking to upgrade your accelerator on these pedals. And I would say that if you put um, an, an, an elastometer in there as well, it would give you a nice, a short accelerator pedal, but give you a nice lockout so you're hitting full throttle um, i was using it with a spring and i sort of locked it out in the software to kick in about there but i reckon that if you had an elastometer in there um, it would feel like a really good uh, accelerator pedal and it does that that transforms the accelerator and <laughs> so i pretty much work these pedals to the point where they are pretty adjustable and pretty good and i was really happy with them um and a week later i went and bought a different set of pedals <laughs> i don't know why um the accelerator pedal was kind of the thing that was bugging me a bit more and then i thought okay i'm gonna have to spend a little bit more on these pedals um but they're almost fully optioned without touching the clutch pedal and the clutch i didn't use a lot to be honest and you can see that the clutch here is like an extra hundred dollars it's an extra hundred dollars for the clutch pedal australian that is so depends what sort of cars you're going to drive and whether you find having a clutch pedal warranted i probably could have not purchased the clutch pedal but it was my first set of pedals i wanted a clutch i wanted to drive with the clutch i wanted to do a bit of drifting um but i felt i could have not had the clutch in the at the end of the day and i still would have been pretty happy with it and these pedals for 269 dollars australian is an absolute steal plus you add in just the accessory kit for one for 20 dollars and then if you go and find the uh performance kit for the r5 this was a little expensive i thought uh for me i thought it was a little expensive uh so $33.90 for the srp um performance kit and there's also shipping you're going to need on top of all this this is direct from the Moser website these prices could change at any stage um i had to i paid a fair bit more for this actually i think i got ripped but um it says that it's not compatible with the srp pedal uh i don't know why that would be the case There's obviously some reason as to why that's not but I, I used it on the accelerator pedal uh and i think it would slot into the sr 
SRPs, but you won't need it because you've got load cell in the brake pedal. So, but it does slot in to the accelerator pedal, uh, which was sick and an awesome upgrade for the accelerator pedal. So, um, so what are the main cons? You do need to spend a bit of money on these pedals. That's probably the biggest thing that if you are going to buy these, you're starting to nudge into the territory of finding some other pedals, which may be a little bit better um, in terms of performance. And like you can get some pedals that are from China uh, that do have a little bit more adjustability. They're a bit easier to use. Um, they're copies of other pedals. But um, if you've got a Moza kit and you're happy with Moza, you're happy with using the software all in one place. Um, if you're on console, uh, good pedals for console, definitely. Really good pedals. You don't have the options that you do on PC. So yeah, if I was on console, I would definitely go for the SRPs. If I had like um, the R3 or the R5 bundle, I'd definitely go for these. If I couldn't afford to go to the CRPs, uh, yeah, I definitely lean towards these. I've been super happy with these. The software runs really well. There's updates every now and then, and I've never had a problem with them. Never had a problem. They're so easy to calibrate in the software. Yeah, to be honest, if this, this would be a pretty good choice for pedals if you're in the Moza ecosystem, and if it's something that you guys want to uh, upgrade your pedals, get into load cell, get a better feeling on the brake, easy to mount, really good pedals, really good pedals. Um, and so, yeah, I virtually did an upgrade. I literally just did an upgrade. These bad boys, I'm probably going to be selling uh, eventually, but um, sad to see them go because I really do like them and they were a really good experience when I did have them. And I hope they go to a good home because um, they're fully modified. They're all ready to go. So, uh, yeah, it should be good. But my recommendation is, yes, if you're going to buy, if you're in the Moser ecosystem, you have a console and you want a good set of pedals, um, this would be what I would go for if I didn't want to spend the money on the CRP pedals. The CRP pedals, let's have a look at those quickly. They look good. I must say they look good. I've never tried them, so I don't know. Moza, if you want to sponsor me, show me what they like, send them to me. Um, and yeah, we'll give them, a, give them a run. But they do look good. They do look good. Quality, high quality. What's what's the price on these bad boys? There you go. So yeah, substantial jumping cost. $769 Australian if you want to jump up to the CRP pedals. Uh, if I was on console... That's more than a whole console. So I probably couldn't justify that. If I'm on PC, I could justify that. Um, but yeah, for me, uh, the SRPs have been really good. I really do like them. Um, I think anyone who's just starting in sim racing would definitely like them. And yeah, other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to be doing some more reviews, just some more of my experiences um, with these things. And I hope you guys enjoy it because uh yeah it's good to get on here and talk about things that we love and sim racing so uh drop something in the comments in the comments below if you've got the cr pedal cr srp pedals and you like the srp pedals uh or maybe if you had bad experiences put it all down there because we're all sim racers at the end of the day and we all like to know other people's experiences and what you guys have figured out with them any updates things you've found that have been beneficial because uh yeah I enjoy them. I like them. I've been really happy and I think you will be too. So peace out guys. Have a good evening and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Starts five right, 70. Good luck. Listen to her. Five. Jesus. Four, three, two, one, go. Five right short. Oh my 70. God. Crest slowing, 60. Six right, long, tightens three, and turn, one right, widens, 40, head in left. Oh god, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what a monster. Look at the dust in the background. 60, sharp, oh no. And crest oh my goodness. Sudden, this right. is just insane. Hang on. Oh. 
Oh my god. Holy moly. Oh my goodness, look at the dust. Some of the craziest hairpins in any game. Why well, I'm just banging off the limiter. Oh my god, I've lost the door, I think. Oh my goodness. I've got no idea where I'm going. Here we go. Hey, breaking all the way up there. We've got some mash out here. Let's go. Oh my god, what a start to, to a rally. My goal is to just. Oh crap. <laughs> Holy shitballs, man. This thing is nuts. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's let's try that again.